42nd Street in Manhattan is significant because that's where the Times Tower stands, just a couple blocks below where Broadway intersects with 7th Avenue, creating that famous bow tie we know as Times Square, named after Times Tower. Because of the heavy bureaucracy in New York's long, long history, there's a subway station underneath Times Tower. To the east of it, also on 42nd Street, is Bryant Park Station, and to the west is Port Authority Bus Terminal Station. And these three are more related than you think. Knowing how they relate to each other can help you power up your subway skills, because when it comes to getting lost in New York City, ain't nobody got time for that. So in this video, we are going to cover these three stations. We're going to talk about the entrances, tunnels, shuttles, trains, and how they all relate. Hello and welcome to Irvin Caffeine. My name is Thea and you're watching a channel that optimizes your life in New York City. So make sure you hit subscribe so you won't miss future videos. As mentioned on this section of 42nd Street, the major landmarks are Times Square, Bryant Park, and the Port Authority Bus Terminal. And the subway station corresponds to each landmark. They say 42nd Street, but stations actually span three or more blocks. Above ground, you would have no idea on the length and extent of these stations. All you will see are entrances, which we will get to later in this video. On 8th Avenue, you will see the A, C, and E trains. 7th Avenue will have the 1, 2, and 3. Broadway carries the N, R, Q, and W. 6th Avenue has the B, D, F, and M trains. And across Manhattan runs the 7 train. That's why it's sometimes called the 7 Crosstown train. On top of that, there's a shuttle from Times Square to Grand Central, which will take you to the 4, 5, and 6 trains. I wish I had a mnemonic to easily remember what train goes on what avenue. If you have one, comment below. From 8th Avenue, there's a tunnel that runs under 41st Street all the way to the Times Square station. On 42nd Street from Times Square Station, there's another tunnel that takes you to Bryant Park Station. The Bryant Park Tunnel is pretty new. It opened about five months ago and is decorated with art by Nick Cave. And the same artist has a show currently on display at the Guggenheim. So if you like this wall, check out more of Nick Cave's work at the Goog. You can also see more of their work at the new entrance at Times Square. But this entrance is not fully complete. While this tunnel is colorful and quirky, this other one features some dark humor that's actually on par with New York. This poem is posted on the overhead beams. It was intended to only be there for a year as a temporary art installation back in 1991. It's still there today because it became a permanent installation like many things in New York City. I remember the first time I saw this poem. I was walking through that tunnel. I was already halfway through and I looked up and I saw a line of it. I didn't think anything of it so I kept walking and then I saw another line and I was thinking, oh! I found something. So I walked to the beginning of the tunnel so I could read the entire poem from beginning to end. And as I was reading this, it was getting darker and darker and I was thinking, oh, how are they gonna turn this into an optimistic piece? And I was very optimistic. This is how green I was to New York City. And when I got to the end of the poem, I was just, give me more! So I walked back to the end of the poem to make sure I didn't miss anything, to make sure that that was really the end of the poem. <laughs> but after living in New York for a few years, I've come to realize how apropos that poem is for those living here. And I've come to really appreciate the humor in that. So next time you're walking through that tunnel, make sure to look up and appreciate the dark humor of New York City. It's helpful to know how these stations are connected so you can enter any three and confidently access all these trains. Especially when there are extreme weather conditions, when it's raining or snowing, walking above ground is not that fun. But note that according to the current MTA map, the Bryant Park Tunnel is only open between 6 a.m. and midnight, but the 7th Avenue Tunnel is open 24 hours. Know that not all subway entrances are created equal. Some are pretty large and difficult to miss, others are glitzy and lit up, while others are pretty vanilla. 
Then there's those that melt into a building or can be a building on its own. They say look for the green ball as your marker, like here and here, but it might not always be there. I found that in Google Maps, if you turn on the public transit overlay, these blue arrows pop up signifying an entrance to the subway. But beware, I've checked every single arrow on these three stations and they are not always there. For example, at the southwest corner of Bryant Park, according to this map, there should be an entrance at all four corners of this street. These three check out, but this one was nowhere to be found. But if you walk down the block, there's a giant entrance that will lead you underground to here. I'm telling you, you won't miss this entrance. Another thing to note is that sometimes, an entrance might be inside a building. An example of this are these two entrances at 42nd Street Port Authority. The entrances are within the Port Authority bus terminal building. And note that signage inside the building will not indicate which subway lines are available. On a side note, the Port Authority bus station does have public restrooms and they are pretty decent, which is rare in this city. So if you ever need to go to the bathroom, this is a small sanctuary. Although I'm not sure if they're open 24 hours. I would say that 90% of these arrows are accurate. An example of that non-accurate 10% is the one on 42nd Street and 8th Avenue. There's actually an entrance here, and it's a pretty large entrance at that. But there are no arrows to be found to indicate that entrance. Interestingly, there is not an entrance here that corresponds to this arrow. So what we'll do is pretend that this arrow is here. Boom! Thanks Photoshop! But really, if it takes you more than a minute to look for a station, just look for another one. Subway stations usually have more than one. But as a rule of thumb, you will easily find entrances on all intersections on 42nd and 40th streets. Like entrances, signage are also not created equal. For example, these two entrance signs on 8th Avenue. Remember, we photoshopped one of these earlier. So you have two different entrances with two different signs. This one makes it seem that you cannot access these trains, while this other sign says there's a passageway available. Well, guess what? They're both part of the same station, so both entrances will give you access to the underground passageway. So don't let these signs fool you. Know that all three stations are connected, albeit it's about a 10 or 15 minute walk from here to here. So those are three popular stations on 42nd Street. Sorry I didn't include Grand Central. Grand Central deserves its own video. I was just waiting for the new LIRR station to open in Grand Central before making that video. It was supposed to open last month, but as of recording this video, it's still not open. Which doesn't surprise me for New York City. Personally, I try to avoid Times Square. It's crowded, it tends to be louder than other subway stations, and it's just exhausting. For some reason, being in Times Square just saps all the energy out of me. But if you have to navigate 42nd Street, then now you know the lay of the land. Or shall I say, lay of the tracks, eh, eh? On that note, I started creating commentary videos on Patreon. I talk about the challenges and what's enjoyable when making a particular video, and also talk about why I make a certain video. If you want to see the commentary I made on this video, you can do so by joining Patreon. Check out patreon.com slash urbancaffeine. You'll be joining these fine folks who've been supporting this channel for quite a while now. Thank you to all Patreon members. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and happy New Yorking.